Merry Christmas. Uh, today I'm going to be doing the new uh, first tier of the raids that have come out recently. I haven't done them yet, I've been putting them off until I had a day off, which is now. So I'm going to do this. Block the crystal from beyond. Oh, that's in. That's 90k right there. I said Merry Christmas. Here's my calculations are correct. I knew that at this very spot I would encounter none other than Kamari, the hero who saw us through the final days. So certain I was in my math, I stood here for well, let's not concern ourselves with that. You stood here for about a week and a half, man. I am Nim Gigi, assistant to one Professor Claude Claudian. We work at the uh ITSCO to observe the ethereal sea and delve into its myriad mysteries. Oh, you're next to him. You blanket over each other and doing a little getting a little frisco. Some mysteries though are beyond even our capabilities to unravel. The strange crystal we recently discovered, for instance, defies our every conjecture. You've been to the center of the star and far beyond it, however we So we hope that you Yeah. Did you get my uh my New Year's Eve cards yet? Postcards I mean? I beg you lend us your well-traveled Aya Aporia. Professor Claudian will be eagerly awaiting your arrival. This, 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 uh, this stream is not sponsored by Coca-Cola. Just bought that yesterday, though. My pants are Coca-Cola branded too, as well. Greetings, Kamari, and welcome to my humble laboratory. I'm sure Nim Gigi has already told you plenty about us, but allow me to introduce myself. First, I'm Claudian, leader of the Solo Research Collective. I must admit, I've been nervous about this meeting ever since Nim Gigi set out to find you for a researcher in my field. There's no greater honor than to meet the man first in history to traverse the ethereal sea and return to tell the tale. Ruff speaks often at length about your deeds, but he has no small number of achievements to his own name. He's stirred deeper into the ethereal sea than any other in Charlayan, and the breath of his knowledge is peerless. Because it was cheap and warm. Yeah. That's why I got Coca-Cola branded stuff. Peerless, perhaps, but for a single man, we must seize this precious opportunity to learn what we can from him and perhaps crack this conundrum and stump the three of us, stump the three of us from moons. Actually, is my chat not? Okay, where is it? Could you do me a favor and just type something again? Is this possible? I haven't realized if it popped up on my screen or not. On my stream, I should say. I think I accidentally turned off my chat box. You but oh no, okay, it's there. It's there. Just making sure. Thanks, I am a butt. Uh it was we who peered in the fathomless sea from the anti tower in the Dravanian hinterlands. There we spoke with Highland and learned of the fate that would befall the star the final days. Yo, my Endwalker finale video has a thousand views and I actually got one follower on Twitch from it, which is nice. Soon thereafter, all research was moved to Labyrinthos, and though the the ITSCO, the ITSCO, did we continue our vigil. As impressive as work impressive as work the device is, however, it can glimpse but a fraction of the sea's infinite depths. Which brings us to the matter at hand. Not long after the exodus was declared, we recovered an unusual crystal shard during a routine observation. It appeared before us suddenly, as if propelled to the surface by some unknown force. We found that it possessed an ethereal density that exceeds the normal crystals by orders of magnitude, and its shape resembles nothing 
which occurs in the natural world. It was made, not formed. Unfortunately, that was the extent of the information we could glean before we were forced to turn our focus towards the Exodus. The crystal was very nearly forgotten amidst the sudden upheaval. But thanks to the efforts of a certain someone, that crisis is now behind us and we are free to resume our research. Thus did we decide to seek you out, dauntless adventurer who delved into the unknown and beheld its innermost secrets, and now we would have to you see for yourself. Here's the crystal in question. If it resembles aught you've encountered before, even by the smallest degree, please say so. Please tell me it's someone's soul stone. Yeah, I'll be doing their- Yeah, it's somebody's soul stone. Whose is that? Yeah, I'm gonna be doing the, um, the new raid. I've been keeping- I didn't want to do it after work, because I figured I want to do it all at once. And, uh, you know, it's a good time to do it now, before the end of the year. Memory abides within the crystal. And unlike Shadowbringers, <laughs> which, you know, only the Eden raids had importance to the story, but the 24-man raids didn't because those, you know, were near branded, so obviously they don't. Uh, these raids and the 24-man raids are going to be very significant to the story. So I figured I should read these. I just thought you do know what it is. Please tell me everything. Well, you see, it's a soul crystal. Uh, from Asians, uh, thousands and thousands of years ago, ha holds their memories because they forget a lot of stuff because they essentially have dementia because they're so old. And uh, yeah, they're crazy assholes. I see. It was plain that this crystal was special somehow, but the rest revelation surpasses even my considerable expectations. Similar artifacts have appeared throughout the ages. Memories of martial techniques manifested as crystalline shards in the battlefield or story stones passed from master to student. The comparison between said artifacts and this crystal may prove a fruitful first step in unveiling its true nature. What do you think, Professor? He's mumbling to himself. Uh -huh. Unlike the crystal in Kimura's story, this one does not bear the mark of the convocation. Who then could these memories belong to? And more importantly, why were they stored in this particular shard? More importantly still, why was it set adrift onto the ethereal sea? Is it Oedipus's crystal? Oh, you siggy butt brain. This thing's got a five head. Jesus. I do easily find myself unmoored by the tides of rumination. Perhaps a er, more engaging use of your time would be of use to you. Take up that crystal if needed. If indeed there are memories stored within... They may reveal themselves to you upon contact. If anyone, message, come. Pandemonium, please. Faces, grave threat, star in danger. Expression is not filled well. What did you see? Whoa. Craziest thing. The guy turned himself into a pickle. A pickle, you say? Pandemonium? This is not a word I've heard before. My knowledge of the ancient drug serves me. It means uh, all demons. That's not good. Not named that inspires optimism.
In the event that another star shattering cataclysm in fact is bearing down upon us, I would have the aforementioned examples of crystallized memory to hand. MGG, or Synod, entrust your the procurement to you. If there are more memories to be extracted from this crystal, we will find them. As for you, there is a person I wish you seek, the one who has delivered so dire a warning. Your story tells us that this crystal could have very well been made by one of the ancients. In that case, then, the discerning of the nature of this pandemonium would require a trip far into the past into an area before the sun rose. Well, here's the thing. I can do that. Yeah. I must confess, the tales of people... The tales people tell of your adventures beggar belief. And the veracity has been the subject of many a debate among my peers after today's meeting, however, there can be no doubt in my mind that every incapable, incredible exploit is fact. So I ask you now, return to the past to find out what and where Pandemonium is, and if we are con need to be concerned by this message. Well, I gotta get to a little bussy. I have a feeling he's gonna be hot, because, you know, they're all Alpiasians are hot. Uh-huh. Turn it to the ocular and approach the portal. Am I going to use the Zem's crystal to travel back in time so I have a cano canonical reason of how I can go back in time? If receives this message. Come, pandemonium, quickly. Oh, what the fuck? Someone just smack me in the head? Yeah, that shit hurt, man. Who hit me? <coughs> and back on Elpis. Oh, I hit somebody else? Who are you? Oh shit, it's a pretty boy! Elidibus? Could it be? No, of course, my apologies, but for the briefest moment, I thought you'd be a dear friend of mine. Oh. Yeah, everyone thinks I'm a Zem. I'm like nine fourteenths of them. Told me a falling star would appear before me, and I suppose it must be it. Truth be told, not the expression to be so literal. Themis. Oh, you're Themis? You're not a Lydibus? Or are you Elidibus before Elidibus? Now you're actually... Your real name's Themis? Really? Yeah, that's Elidibus. He's too hot to be a fake character. I apologize for not introducing myself properly. I'm Themis, as you can see by... My bare face, I am not one of Elpis's observers. Rather, I am come on. <laughs> I, mean, I am come here on an assignment which has been more or less routine up to this very moment. You certainly do know how to make an entrance. I wonder what brought you here. 
for it's plain to see that you do not belong here, or any place I know, for that matter. I'm a Sims familiar. Asm's familiar. And he's like, no, you aren't. You're here at Zim's behest. I believe I heard of your guest your purpose. You are here to investigate pandemonium, yes? So wait, that insinuates that Azim, the, the original Azim, could foretell the future. Because he said that crap about the falling star to this guy. Does that mean he set forth the entirety of the story to prevent the second end of days maybe uh, how come did you collide with my skull see craziest thing happened uh i tripped off of the uh top of the island and fell onto you yeah that's exactly what happened no time travel definitely not Oh, okay. Okay, he believed it. That's good. This crystal. Oh, yeah. My, my J.O. crystal? Yeah, it's fully charged. Alright. Let's make sure you don't get it dirty. Only positive vibes. Fascinating. All I cannot say is what it contains. Sturdies are uh, memories stirring within. Also, here's a picture of my dog's fat cheek. <laughs> memories that speak of something gravely amiss in pandemonium. Unless this guy's La Habrea, and if that's the case, La Habrea is way too hot to be that stupid. I want these hairstyles, though. They look cool. The facility extends beneath Elpis and is overseen by, by the words of La Habrea. So I guess you're not La Habrea. It houses those creations that are highly valued as research subjects and highly dangerous to the star. Naturally, it's strictly guarded and under constant surveillance. Several days ago, however, an unnatural shift in the flow of its surrounding aether was detected. Soon after, all communications from Pandemonium ceased. What? I'm here as a representative for, of an organization that works directly with the Convocation and has been tasked with investigating the incident. AKA, we couldn't afford Emmett Selk's voice actor for anything not MSQ. Now that there is some measure of transparency between us, might I offer a suggestion as to what we should do next? Where familiars dare. They're just throwing money. Okay. Now then, my proposal is simple. Let's journey to Pandemonium together. A destination the same I suspect an arrangement would work to our mutual benefit. Besides... I should have no trouble in gaining us both access to. Hope you agree. I would loathe to be a part ways from, of, from the falling star that I've been waiting for so long. Long for. I'm a rap god. Originally, I planned to conduct my investigation with a friend I mentioned earlier. He had also noticed the anomaly near Pandemonium, so it only seemed natural that we would investigate it together. However, he eventually decided it would be unwise for both of us to go if two members of our organization were seen poking our heads about restricted facilities that would raise questions, you see. I decided to go alone, but he left me with these words. Fear not, for in my absence, a star shall far fall before you. While I could not comprehend the meaning at the time, I believe now I understand he does have a way of being right about those things. Even so, hints of what are generally more cryptic, I suppose I should keep my gaze to the heavens. Suffice to say, I'm grateful to your presence. These ways, for the matter at hand, we must first gain permission from the words of La Hapropeha to in uh, entry pandemonium. There ought to be a speaking wait speaker waiting at Agnorn, or I can never say that right, Anagnorsis. Sounds like a, a venereal disease or something that happens on the toilet. 
Where's the Vaha Brain speaker? What a fascinating etheric signature I have in accordance with the convocations requested to you, you have been granted leave to observe pandemonium. I like your eyes, man. Glowy. I shall register your aether for the records from this point on. You may freely come and go from pandemonium as you please. Now that was a painless process, I take this as a sign we're meant to conduct our investigations together. Of course, while you've been permitted entry into the facility, a specimen's house inside must be handled with the utmost care. You are to heed the warden's instructions at all times. Yes, sir. Those who conduct their work to pay more them are called warders, for their role to respect to the creatures within. Keep them away. Generally, uh, creations that pose a threat to the safety of Starry must be undone. However, the words of La Habrea has deemed certain cre such creations as worthy of further study, interring them within the facility. Those who spend their days in pandemonium are not merely researchers, they must work tirelessly to ensure none of the subjects slip their shackles. For all intents and purposes, this place is a dungeon, perhaps such a comparison arouses frightful imagery, but pandemonium is a frightful place. So it's a prison. It's help it's uh Aetherus is like creature prison. I know not the purpose of your investigation, but if you discover aught that uh, merits a report, pray do so with utmost hate, Master Lahabrea shall guide us upon proper course of action from there. Lahabrea, that idiot. Nothing amiss of late. The warders report nothing to cause alarm. Minor fluctuations in have been observed, but surely Master Lahabrea would have acted if anything had been worth worrying about. I see. Okay. I hope I'm not overstepping my boundaries by asking, but you seem to be quite familiar with La La Master Lahabria. Do you know him? Craziest thing. Um, I killed him once. Yeah. Took control of my friend. And uh, yeah, that's about it. He's kind of dumb. Know him? We've met. I'll just say we've met, though. I'm if familiar with the honor of the last of uh, He's not known to easily afford others his time, so he must be extraordinary indeed to be granted even a moment of it. Regardless, while I doubt I need to tell you this, he is of the convocation. Take care that your actions do not hinder his work. With that, let's go to Pandemonium. Let's make our way into the prison. Hell prison. Let's go to Impel Down. Let's fight Magellan. Whoops, that was the wrong button. That's what this teleporter is for. Go to Pandemonium. Neat. Alright. Teleport to Pandemonium. Yes, please. Let's use this crap. If it's not on fire, it's not Pandemonium. Never mind. This is also a very good Pandemonium. Okay. Yep. Yeah. This is Castle Oblivion from Kingdom Hearts. Like, I get the name, but like, you would think these people would be like, maybe let's let's design a little bit of a nicer place. Very Dark Soulsy. Actually, it's more Bloodborne-y, I think. The Defiance of Masterworks is not without flaws, however. Someone or something is tampering with the protections. Probably La Habrea himself, and we're gonna beat the crap out of him again in the last raid, right? But it's working from within, eroding them from the inside out. I am shocked, I say. Fear not, there is no intermediate immediate danger. I mean, force for protection as I could from the moment we arrived. 
This will not put an end to whatever is occurring, but which at least serve us so its progress. One small victory, though the road ahead of us uh, is yet long. <clears throat> yes, powerful forces are at work here. The silence in the air speaks volume. While I did not expect a bustling facility, I do not see a single warder. The first course of action would be to seek out one, wherever they may be. However, there's something you must know. The magic of upon entering requires my constant awareness. That is to say, if you're forced to fight, I cannot risk joining you in battle. Should I lose focus, pandemonium's protections will rapidly crumble before the force assailing them. Were there another way of godly choosing, but let, let us at least be grateful that neither of us here is alone, trapped in hopeless circumstances. If we should fail to find a peaceable solution, then I hope I can rely on your strength to see us through. Of course, you have my promise. Thank you for offering your help so willingly. If weapons are drawn, I hope to be able to lend at least a touch of magical support. That's probably going to be a mechanic. Creation magics do have their uses in that regard. I had it in mind to use your aether as a basis for illusory allies. So if I... Okay, so this is how we get the eight mans. He summons them up to us using his creation magics. Perhaps seven shall do. Not exactly an arm of the looks of you. A formidable band, nonetheless. Well, how about a 56 man? Then so it shall be. Now, what, I wonder, awaits us in pandemonium's pitiless halls? I do like the... Yeah, I like this. Asphodelios, in the first circle, now accessible. I have... Just to preface this, I have not seen any of the raids, I have not seen any of the fights, the mechanics. All I know so far was that name, Asphodelios, that's why it's in my Twitch stream as a title. Other than that, nothing, I'm going in 100% blind. Okay. The discovery of Crystal born in the far reaches. God damn it! Well, actually, I can bring that up pretty easy. I have some of these uh, aphorism tombstones I haven't used yet. Uh, okay, where your trajectory into what you came. Okay. Okay, five. Double check. Yep. There we go. Just to wait. Actually, I might as well sell this. All the music in this game slaps. A ghost, a heartless, a Sephiroth, a cat, a pickle. First circle, the world unsundered. Okay. Who is that? Is he gonna turn into like an evil thing? Oh, I have a feeling he's gonna turn bad. I'll save them. I must. Oh, oh! So we're gonna be like fighting the warders as they transform. Okay, that's cool. 
but I'm afraid he has no state to answer the questions. Perhaps we can bring him to his senses. So it's like Laha Bridge trying to figure out how to weaponize the Asians. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> uh, Eric, Eric Hithonios. Eric Hithonios. Okay, Eric. Eric, why you do this to me, man? BGM 100. Oh, whoops. AOS, AOS. Okay, whoa, gotta pay attention. Gowler's Fall, what is that gonna be? Is that gonna be, oh, okay, so his chain on the right side. So it's the side he's, oh my god, that little piano music. That's, I love that part. Gordon's Wrath. Okay, so that's just an AoE you can't avoid, I'm assuming. Oh, it's following you. Oh my god, I love this music. Now there's fall. So it's gonna be his left side, alright. Okay. Seems like it's like a tank buster. Impertinence. Okay. Overwhelming heat. Uh, uh. Oh, so we want to get the top one to be ice. Understand it's the order, but what is that construe? What are we overwhelming heat? Does that mean that the fire was going to be hotter than the coal? That's my fault for healing too quickly. Okay, so the fire around him shows what he's gonna do. So now that's the light, so that's gonna be the blue. Okay. Okay. Why did that hurt me? Oh, did he combo it? Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, so he did combo it.
lives your colleagues are at stake. Okay. So I want to like balance this. Do I want to go here? But oh, can I switch? Oh, I can switch. Oh wait, no, they want to go here. Okay. Gowlers fail. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay. Okay, so this is interesting. There's a lot more. Okay, so I figured out what the problem was before. I should have just ran over. I didn't think you were. I thought you were stuck in the, the blocks. Eric, why do you have so much HP? Shining cells, which one's that? Okay, it's that one. Fire, so we're good here. I love that part of the song. Okay, so this one is gonna be the next one, okay. We can do the left side so this is safe here. Okay, so the buff gives you. Okay. I'm gonna be hit with fire, so I want to switch to here. Boss, though. Really cool. And the chains to symbolize, you know, it's a prison, first and foremost. First try. Nice. I love this helmet. It looks really cool. 20 and 40. Okay. Ooh, what do I want first? I can roll once for each.
I don't want the rings. What am I missing? So I'm at 5-7 for this. Gloves I'm gonna need. Shoes. Gloves and shoes. Okay, so he can't get anything else. Um, so I have a choice. I can pick anything I want. <coughs> I guess I gotta go gloves now. Wait, what level is the gear? Crap, I don't know that. I should just look that up really quick. S O W C gear I level. Okay, it's 580 gear. Okay, so everything would be an improvement. Yeah, I guess. I would like a guaranteed piece of equipment. Okay, so they all dropped the chest, and I'm gonna go for the chest boost first, even though I got this. Ah, no, that'd be stupid. That'd be really dumb. Oh, yeah, I can get... This week I could get the gloves and the boots. Okay, I'm gonna do the gloves now. Display. Okay. We should wait for until this man regains his senses. He wears a robe of a order, and I'd be very curious to know what drove him to attack us sight unseen. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Stirs. So he wait. What happened, man? Whatever came over me. It's coming back to me. My mind is filled with a storm of desperation, anger. I left at you, though I knew not of your intentions. Pray accept my apologies and my thanks. Had you not knocked some sense back into me, I may have fallen upon someone less capable of defending themselves. That's okay, man. All good. I am Eric, a wanderer of Asphodelios, Pandemonium's highest lair in the place we're in it. Oh my god, this is just the layers of hell. We're going from the top, middle, and then to the bottom. It's like Dante's Inferno. What's happening to me? The worst of the worst is going to be at the bottom of the prison. We're not going to be making our way up, we're going to be making our way down. In creations interred within us, Fidelios have been set free in stock at all for no end but violence. Wow. That is not good, to say the least. Has this ever happened before? 
No, never. Each level of pandemonium is under the charge of a key ward, who keeps strict control over the most minute aspects of their domain. They're selected with great care, and their loyalty to Master Lahabrea is absolute. Yet something has gone terribly wrong. Also, it's Lahabrea who's doing this. I remember a chorus of whispers assailing my senses, and afterwards only flashes of rage of fury and blackness, from which I awoke to find that whatever had overcome, had overcome me was gone. I see, your senses may have been muddled by the magics that affect the mind, perhaps the self-same ones you saw separated from the other warders. Whatever taking me, taking hold of me, thank you for releasing me from its clutches. That you've come here from the surface means, uh... Word of our play has reached the outside world. If you know anything that may help, pray tell. This guy turned himself into a pickle. I swear, it's the funniest shit you've ever seen. Horror among horrors, the pandemonium's protections are indeed being dismantled from within. But the same individual or individuals that released its captives and set them upon you, no doubt. Such knowledge avails us little, however, if we cannot ascertain their identity. Like, might be Greg. I mean, Greg and Multi Lothlius. Themis, was it? You said you worked in our organization under the auspices of, of the convocation. Were they to receive word that what transpired here, what measures would they take? Eh, destroy the whole place, nuke it to the ground. Doubtless, if they consider this place to be a lost cause, pandemonium's ties to the outside world would be severed, or perhaps it would be wiped from existence entirely. Exactly! The smart thing to do. As I thought, were the cages to escape the outside world, there would be untold carnage. The words of Lahabrea would never risk that, despite what value the research subjects may hold. All the more reason for us to work with haste, but can't expect further help than it falls upon me to save others, I'll not leave them behind. He would go alone? No, he would go with me. You can have my book. Yeah, you're weak, though. But if this familiar here went with you... Yeah. Yeah, of course, man. Our goal is long to protect the magic of pandemonium, yet holds for the moment time is our favor. Let us proceed upon the course you and Kamari have set upon us. Party of three is so much more entertaining than party of two. Now let us turn our attention to rescuing your colleagues. Perhaps it would be wise to approach the gates in any case, in case any have followed you out. So this week we're going to do Glove Glove Boot Boots. That's what I want to do. Get the most out of it. Miss, what's up? 
Assuming revocation will be quite early after all, I find it hard to believe the Laha Brea knows not what transpired here. From the mastermind of this crisis is they do not lock power in Koenig. AKA it's Laha Brea, that dirty bastard, was up to no good in the future and the past. I should take a screenshot actually. is peering through lips of pandemonium. Yeah, do you mean to rescue the warders and not and creations both? Naturally, although they may be dangerous, they're valuable research subjects when labor are untold hours of study go to waste. Oh, I dare say La Habrea will smile to would smile to hear you say such a thing. That is if we had cause to report this incident to them. Capable, face is capable of such warmth. Do you like him or not? Ah, uh, so you've met him before? I was under the impression he rarely visited Pandemonium. Sorry, my wife is texting me now. Some of you rarely visit the Pandemonium. I have, yes. My mentor was previous, the previous head of this facility, that is to say, La Habre's predecessor, in the position of key, Chief Keywar. Her name was Athena, and she was a researcher with the words. It was she who appointed me to this position. La Habre is a woman? Okay. 
I thought Rhea was a dude. You were called during a battle earlier. I bound you to ethereal shackles. Internment is more refined and powerful magic based upon the same principles. While both are used to keep the subjects docile, only the key word of each tier is permitted to use internment. Even if I were allowed, I lack the aptitude to use the spell to any notable effect. Fascinating. I have some knowledge of this one spellcraft, actually. Lahabre himself. So wait, no, Lahabre is a dude. Okay. Established their foundation, if I recall. While shackles are meant to bind an object in place for a short time, interment freezes the very space around it for as long as the caster wills. Indeed, while the illusory being who summoned your fight is suggested as such, I see your knowledge of magic is vast. Perhaps you've already mastered the art of interment, and I'd like lecturing you like a child all this time. My knowledge ends there. I have not the precise understanding of how invoca invocations interact with natural laws. That would be needed to cast said spells with any consistency. While I consider myself well versed in various magics, I would be ill advised to assume the duties of the key ward without instruction. That being said, if I were to learn more of internment and its inner warning. You know, I just realized, uh. There we go. Turn the background music down a bit. That's been out a hundred the whole time. Well, you have a warder right in front of you. Well, the solution's obvious when you put it like that. Eric, you implied that what prevented you from performing the tournament was lack of magical capacity. What if I supplemented your power with my own? Would the spell succeed then? I, I, I can't say for certain. I've never heard such a thing being done. I believe it may be our best recourse, that is, assuming you can perform the initial rites and incantations flawlessly, even the smallest misstep, and we would have to start over. Come on, Eric. Eric, don't let me down. You need not worry about that. I've seen the spells cast so many times that their emotions have been bur buried, burned into my memory. I won't disappoint. Very well, let's work out the specifics afterwards. Once we do, we can test our methods on one of those skipped creatures, though I suppose there's a matter of finding one. It would be foolish to rush in blindly, lest we fi find ourselves surrounded with not but an untested strategy at our disposal. Nay, I'd prefer to engage a single creature that Kamari could dispatch on his own if the spell were to go awry. I agree, and while I have an idea, I call I recall seeing the, the Hippocampos. Like the hippo, the hippocampus, you know, the brain, but is it going to be like a brain hippo? Wandering the waterways during my fight, perhaps it's still there. A few of the subjects housed within an Asodeus are fond of water, and I believe they'll be able to gauge the beast without fear of unwanted guests. Oh no, a water level. That shall be our first stage, or perhaps subject is a better term. And before we commence the internet internment magics, the creature should be weakened to a sufficient degree. I believe I can trust you with a task. Okay, so the next boss is Hippo. Daunting opponent, magic warps the environment around you, will be at home amidst the waterway to steal yourself for a fight. That's Fidelios, the second circle of the law. Yeah, okay. Neat. Warderer Eric has brought with him the chilling news that all creations as Asphodelios, the highest level of pandemonium, now run free of their fetters. In order to prevent total chaos from bursting forth and onto the world above Themis, and Eric plans to utilize tournament magic to safely capture any errant creatures if the theory translates well into practice, that is. With only one way to find out, you head to the waterways to confront a monster of legend, the water wheeling Hippocampos. So this is either a giant fat watery hippo or 
it's a seahorse. We will see. It's just a freaking. Uh, it's a horse, I guess. Dragon with your mouth being not your head. Okay, this is gonna be like watery. Water's gonna come here to push you off. We gotta stand on these platforms, is what I'm guessing, or they're gonna shoot up from here. Murky depths. What does this music remind me of? Okay, so that's gonna be that way, and this isn't safe. Okay, so the head shoots at the half, and the body the body is a a thin AOE across the map, while the head is a half mark. Okay. Oh god, it's going! It's going! It's going ghost! This is just that Pokemon. That new Pokemon, the Legend one.
Palooses are overflowing. Oh, fuck. I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't paying attention. I died when you joined. And both the healers are dead! That's a wife. That's how that's going. Yes, now I use it. What? What's this? No need to res you. On six, five, four. Come on. Oh my god, we didn't wipe though. That's amazing. on LB3 make it to the LB3 sage we wiped you don't resurrect until you fully heal the team so that you can unless you can change chain cast man uh, that's why I res the sun the the red mage This boss is definitely much harder than the uh, than the first one. I think, at least. Okay, so he's gonna go that way, that way. What are you guys eating for Christmas dinner, or lunch, or breakfast? I should say.
copy of his head appeared. That's where we wiped last time. I think. Bro, get off me! Please! Oh. Let's see, she's in split. No, I'm not. Okay. God, you hurt like a dumb truck, my man. Doubled impact? Oh no. Oh, fuck. Dude, rip. I 
got this LB3. It's gonna do the thing where it pushes us somewhere. It's gonna do the thing where it's gonna push us right here. Oh, it's gonna do it right here. Okay, he's even easier. God, these people's voices are so much louder than they should be. down the end of man. That's a wife. Another wife right at the van. Come on. We got this. I don't mean we, I mean you. Come on, you got this 750k. Hi, babe. Hi. Thanks. What's that? What's that? Huckle. Is it free? Do you order something? You order something? Oh, no, you can open it. You ordered it. What? For me? <laughs> Why is this like dog poop in here? Why is this like dog poop in here? Oh, it smells really strong. I like this. I love this. Thank you, man. Thighs? Oh, the price to make sure the price isn't there. I don't know. I mean, I could just do QR code and check the price. <laughs> Thank you, man. I love you. Thank you. <laughs> Throw away? No. Oh, okay. Yeah. Tanks are OP. I can't believe we got carried for like the last 10% of that fight with two tanks only. <laughs> Hi Yuzu! Hi Merry Christmas! Machi oide! Machi! Gram cracker! Machi! What time? Drop it. I like a jacket though. <laughs> oh no, it's okay. Oh my god. Hang on, I want these. Shit. Pass. Pass. Oh no, I wanted to agree. Oh no. Pass. 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 Yes, okay, so I can get the gloves now. I can't believe that. Oh man. Warriors. 
more just healing ridiculous Paladin's healing is so so but in combo they can just destroy my wife bought me pizza my wife bought me pizza she's in such clean work <laughs> Oh man. Demis' power was more than enough to complete the interment. Spellcasting was never Mr. Rossi, but that was almost made me feel like a proper Magos. Truly, having seen your abilities first in your fight, Kamari, I beg to disagree. Shackles is one exception, it's only because I've been forced into recognition since I was a, but a small child. Other magics leave me feeling completely on my death. Regardless, if luck is on my side, the guy I meet to you, we went through is impossible. It's possible after all. Yes, please. stream say okay it's that Fires of Great. Okay, this is a lot more like. This looks like Palace of the Dead. That must have fallen in the road ahead. Wait, babe? Did you get Tabasco? Oh. Oh, he looks better than this. Maybe, but he looks really cool. That's Barrett. He's good at decision making, okay. He looks like Xandor. Seek out his sparrows. So we must proceed by the feet foint phoenix phoenix. Phoenix. We're gonna have to fight Phoenix again, but like a weird, screwed up version. That, that's two cut IPs on pizza. Babe. Babe. That's why I meant I thought you were gonna buy some. No, babe, bring it down. Oh, you're gonna sleep? Okay, we'll close the door. Both doors. Or just this one. Enjoy your nap.
Ah! No! No, no, no. I left my phone in the toilet, in the, where I normally keep it. And then I remembered, oh, I, che I left cheesecake up here last night. And it, that was from last night, the plastic wrap. Because I left cheesecake here, and then I went to the bathroom. And I was like, oh yeah, I just need to wrap that cheesecake. It's, you know, going to sit out all night, because I forgot it. And then I was like, oh wait, my phone is in the bathroom. Let me grab that, put the plastic wrap down, grab my phone, went upstairs, went to bed, forgot the cheesecake, forgot the plastic wrap. <laughs> when he succeeded at making the phoenix. You don't think we succeeded? That's weird. Something's not adding up. While well, it's possible that flew up to other oh, somewhere in the pandemonium, we wouldn't make the assumption of our own peril. Better to assume we'll need to bring down Asteldeus as most unruly subject to heal. Frosty. Oh, it's outside. Dracula? Oh! You're a bad guy. Okay. The sparrows. It's an uphill battle. It means we have a traitor. Third circle now accessible. That looks terrifying.
Okay, that was really fast. Thanks for the name. Okay, this is definitely going to be when Scholar is going to shine. Scorched Explosion. Okay, undodgeable. Oh, you're dead. Shit. Cinderwing. Okay, so that's like kind of like uh, a mon. Oh, I'm assuming each had to do something, so if it goes in the middle, but it's right hand to go firing in the middle, is what he's saying. Oh, that's terrifying. Oh my god. I'm assuming something's gonna happen. It's gonna be like big AOE damage. <coughs> my fault, I'm doing terrible this fight. Oh my god. Legend fight. Okay, so that's gonna be. Oh.
Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, no. Thank you, Black Zippo. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Fuck! I was waiting for it to go off to heal. Ah! I was waiting for it to go off so I could heal without taking damage. The tide was just so slightly off. Go fast and get ass. God, I'm doing so terrible. I did so decently in the first fight. This is still first attempt on this. Only only the second one we, we wiped at. But yet, the second time we almost wiped, there was only two tanks left for 10% of the boss's HP and they took it out. Good. They can heal so much HP. And we have two warriors right now, so even if we wipe, they're probably not gonna die. Unless they screw up mechanics. Yeah, a lot of these um, bosses you have to pay attention to. So like, not like just pay attention, but fuck. Like that, like, it, it doesn't uh, show you what it's gonna do via the bar that quick, or that slowly, I mean. Come on, 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 come on. Shit, 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 shit. This, this, this. Lustrate, lustrate, lustrate. Expedience. You fight Phoenix in Bahamut, you fight Phoenix in the Triads, and then you fight Phoenix here. All three of them are different Phoenixes, too. I just realized I don't have ASO, because I died earlier. Grab the gloves, now I need the... Oh wait, are these shoes? No, those are hands. Okay. This is definitely like a crazier fight. Eyeball in its chest, that's gross. I got the gloves.
Oh, still the first attempt on the raid, the total, the full, like, four fights? Yes, this next fight is going to be the last fight of the four that are currently out. So I want boots, so much shoes. Wait. Pass. Pass. No. Pass. Pass. So I don't need anything from this fight. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. How the hell did I receive a commendation? This matter is still in this area. As you told us, there's but one person at Fodeus with ability. Oh no, I screwed up my loot table. Slightly, I guess. So I'm gonna have to do that third fight again to get a piece of loot. I guess I'll do. Accessories then. Fortunately, you see, there's the trouble of finding him. A contemptible display as befits an inferior specimen. Count Chocula. But alas. Look at this Castlevania looking ass Dracula ass. Poop eating face. Sparrows, why? Why have you brought such chaos on your beloved pandemonium? Oh, Eric. You're not his sparrows. Wait, you're Laha Brea's son? You are not worthy to utter his name. What'd you guys eat? Who wants to be grateful? To witness a feat beyond your meager abilities, beyond your shadow reckoning? I have slipped the surly bonds of mortality. I have become one with our mythic creations and rid myself of imperfections. I stand upon the threshold of godhood. Do you know how many gods we have killed? As a Hermetheos, shall I serve Master Lahabrea, ever faithful unto the end of days. You're going into my naughty list. Yo, Elidibus. I'm assuming that's who he is. Damn. Broke his spell with a punch.
Pouco pau. No blames me their undoing. Where they fritter away their strength and common beast of Asmodeus, I'll continue my work. You okay, bud? Oh, neat. I can't believe you're Elidibus' son. I killed your- There's a war which around to spend the morning with a stand to the feet. Oh, well, how about I did that? Both my father and I could bind others in chains, perhaps the only thing we have in common. So it is true. I am why a son bereft of his talent for magic would bring it mind, but his son nevertheless. Crazy, crazy idea. The Lahabria that's currently in Elpis is not the Lahabria we know. Maybe at the end of the story, that Lahabria will step down, go into the abyss. This guy, Eric, th th this guy will take over, and he will be the Lahabrea we know in the future. Lahabrea taught me on the cast ethereal shackles, so that was it. My further ed education was listening to the words of Lahabrea, more specifically my mother, who was a researcher here. Athena? Chief keyword before the high bridge is mother yes. I was stew, I could see now your children leave this investigation. You're right of it. If he knows my mother knows she who invited me to join her here. Well Habre had nothing to do with it. First three fights, first one. I mean all of them you actually have to do pay attention, and I kinda like that, because then you're learning the proper, you know, you're actually learning mechanics rather than reacting to them. Um, first one, uh, pretty, obviously the most simple of the three, pretty easy. Um, there was one mechanic that tripped me up, but I figured it out the second time. Second fight, um, was much harder than the first, uh, but that's more of a posi team positioning thing. Um, and... But, like I said, the two tanks carried us for the last, like, 10% of the fight when we were all, everyone else was dead. But I definitely want to do that fight again sometime. Um, but I will have to anyways, because every week you can only get one token. And, you know, if you do, the, the chess pieces, the chess piece and the, um, pants require four tokens. So unless you roll for them, so that means you can only get one piece of equipment a week if you do that. Um, the gloves, the shoes, and I think the accessories all require two tokens. So this way it's like you get one, like one or two pieces a week. Um, and then the third fight, the Phoenix, was definitely, I think, the hardest. Just because I think it has a lot of 
the types of moves where you have to pay attention to, what, to the boss's body and then based on what the boss does as an animation is the next move but it doesn't necessarily do the casting bar until like the last second you know so it also doesn't help that the background is fiery the platform can be fiery the boss is you know red reddish orange and then the aoe markers on the floor are always orange so it's like kind of blends in a bit so it's a little bit hard to see or shows that you can actually change the color Oh, your mother died. So she decided to move on. I'm rubbing two pieces of pizza together like they're gonna, like I'm trying to start a fire. Because I placed some Blair's Sudden Death sauce on it, and it's very spicy, and I do not want to deal with a. Uh, one pe one bite of just pure fire. Oh, I can smell that, and I did barely any. Also, my wife bought me these cute socks. They're dogs. That's my hair. Let's go. Oh, you, well, you're lucky. You've only ever unlocked the first puppet's bunker and the uh, realm of born rights. So you, you you get some easy farming done. I want answers too. Come on, Eric. Go. <coughs> the I'm assuming this fight is going to be taking place in the previous three arenas of the last three fights I've done. I'm just going to change it at will. Last fight. Last fight of this raid and I have to do the third fight again. I get a piece of equipment I want. Ah. Ooh, 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 ooh. 
Oh, that's music. Setting the scene, this is when he's going to change us to a different place. Right? These people have done this already. Water one. Probably gonna push us. Maybe? No, we should stand here. What are we gonna stand here for? Oh, okay. Oh, I guess if we touch the wall, we instantly die. Probably. So I'm assuming those were that like, I had to stand in the one that's not marked for me. Something like shit. What's up? So he's gonna go here, I guess. Okay. This shallowness is no mere affliction. Westerly sure. Get close to him because it will attack in a circle around him. Oh! Tis but a flesh wound. <laughs> what? 
Rotation, Swift Cast, Aldo, Aether Flow, this, 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 this. Oh god, so this is going to be a little tougher. Okay, so I don't know what the fire one does. So it's going to be... Which one first? That's going to be this one, so it could be this anywhere. One lightning means it's going to strike the middle. Okay, fire, I don't know what that is. Okay, fire is a stack marker. Okay, let's see first one. First one is... Okay, stack marker. Water, it's gonna push us. Shit.
take the early for that limit break, because if we somehow wipe for any reason. It could be worse. Definitely the third fight was harder than that fight. A Nosferatu? Ooh, is that a minion? Ooh, I want it. Oh, and there's the tokens for the weapons that I need to roll a bunch on. Neat. 60. Shit! Oh, I can get two accessories? Neat. Shit, someone else won that. Pass. 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 Neat. Pass. 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 I'm gonna pass it. Did I get a weapon? Yes, I did. Do I get another one for doing this again, or is it one once a week? That's the question. That must be end this here. Your stolen staff. Fools, I will not be put in chains. Perhaps I should have treated you as more than a mere nuisance. Your eyes changed colors. But your victory, you shall never have the knowledge you seek. The secrets of my transformation, the secrets of deception, they shall return to the star with me. You're wasting your bet breath, we have the upper hand now, surely you can see that. Yes, yes, my repertoire is now exhausted, yet, however, although I have failed, my end shall be on my terms. Stab themselves in the chest. Yep. Our main loyal fairy mass, fairy lass, come what may, I die with dignity. You are better than that. Star shall no brighter than anyone in pandemonium. Your law of respect is a trust. What did you seek that you would forsake all that? Sell your legacy beside. La Habrea did something bad. Like the evil bastard he is. Is he just jealous? No, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> Ooh. I literally just uh, helped save the end of the world because this girl thought she should just end it all because of the respect for Hermes she had. Go. 
I found the other warder. We're not gonna get help in that manner. Influence of Hesperos. His magic is fading through Asphodelos. Now it's perfect opportunity to seize control of the facility to restore things to their original state. Seize control, can we really do that? Uh, easier than the third fight. But it was good. What, what is this presence? Eric. What lies beyond that threshold? That's the passage that connects Asphodelos to Abyssos. Why? Younger guard, you two. Now that Asphodelos is free of obstructions, I can more easily sense disturbances in the lower levels. Something stirs in Abyssos. Oh, so I guess Abyssos is the next raid tier coming out. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like a seraph? A warding sigil, how? Let us return to the gates for now. Should we should the situation from there. Needless to say, the investigation is far from over. I'm gonna do the third and fourth fight again, because the third one I need to get a ring from. In the fourth fight, I wanna see if you can get the weapon token infinitely or if it's just once a week although we have defeated the sparrows it appears we have but scratched the surface of pandemonium's troubles Right, so let's go make the questions for it. Could it mean that Hesperos wasn't actually behind this? No shit, Sherlock. Here's a stark possibility, yes. The root of the crisis may lie somewhere such much deeper than even Abyssos. When we first encountered you, you said the memories of your escape were vague. And that your senses were muddled. I believe this was more than the result of panic mind. You were made to feel this way by... Powerful magical influence, it's possible, but the same magic could have poisoned the Sparrow's heart, twisting his affection for Lahabre into a burning obsession, then in his altered state, he was made an offer for power he could not refuse. Someone else turned the Sparrow's into that thing? Yes. Indeed, our mysterious mastermind does not lack subjects for his experiments. The more potential, Hemtheoi. They're doomed to share the same fate as the sparrows. Stop the sorry efforts I'm going through. I yet retain control of these circles and thus wield internment magic within their halls at will. The creatures pose no threat to us. Just like that, there's nothing stopping us in order to turn to Asphodelos. Yes. Just so I shall require your expertise to keep the peace after the subjects have been returned to the confinement, however, you are Asphodelos' sole remaining warder after all. Truth be told, I did not expect this investigation to be so involved, of course. I would like to resolve matters even without resorting to outside help, but. You mean to send a report to La Habrea? There's too soon to say. Let us find a way to into Abyssos. It would be best to withhold our judgment until we ascertain the whereabouts of the other warders and identify the of the party for their surveillance. Agreed. Even so, if it means saving a single life of Pandemonium, I'm not above asking La Habrea. For help should it come to that. Recent discoveries certainly paint the Sparrows' actions in a new light. 
the number of unknown elements in this investigation grows, and we must proceed forward with the utmost caution. That ends. Erica, I shall remain here for the time being. Most of the, as I enjoy your company, do you believe we shall be needing protection so long as we remain in Escalothello? We should take time to rest. Surely you are weary, and there may be more battles ahead of us. Thomas's burden may grow heavier in your absence, but he's shown that he's more than capable to bear it. Still, I would help wheresoever I'm able. All we've achieved so far has been thanks to you two, and I mean to repay that debt I owe. I don't know what a use I could be outside of place that you good creatures, but I'll find a way. Yeah, huh? You owe us nothing. Yep. Stop being such a Sally Sally. Sad Sally, I mean, not a Sally Sally. That makes no sense. Don't be ridiculous. Thank you, Themis. Sparrow's words seem to have affected me more than I realized. Together we've come this far and together we'll reach the end. You're gonna die. I dare say your story will be much more than they have ever imagined. Macmurray from the past, and I'm less aware. Let's just see what I can find. Swear to God, this guy, he had a thing, and it did a thing with a lot of creatures, turned himself to a pickle, funniest shit I've ever seen. There's evil afoot in Pandemonium, and already on this place, I must say, mythic beasts and missing warders. Truly, we are fortunate to see you return to us in one piece. If it's someone who lived among the angels, could be someone trying to avert a tragedy from the future. Much remains shrouded in mystery. Yet, yeah, elm by elm, we shall unveil the mystery with help of Kimari, of course. By his actions was the fabric of the past reshaped, yet he returns to the same present he left. Which can only mean one thing, that his intervention in Pandemonium's crisis is one of countless building blocks upon history upon which our present has been built. There is no telling what consequences would arrive if we stopped pursuing this matter now. Whatever plot is unraveling within pandemonium, we must not let it reach its conclusion. If one of those creatures should escape, what rivals would carry forth into the future? They might wreak havoc upon the world of their ancients, and their despair will leave an incredible mark upon history's pages. But despair would only feed the terrible beast that arose during the final days. The final days has already had a drastic effect on the aeons that followed. If the scars it left may be made deeper, we don't we risk losing our present entirely. Yeah, but wouldn't that just mean that it's already, I've already fixed it in the past once before because we're still standing here and that's already happened? Shut up, loser. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> Recruit another assistant.
I'm guessing stack marker, corner, separate, pushback. Oh, yeah, stack marker. Now, let's see, is it gonna be corner? Yes, it is, it's corner. Oh my god, I was right. Separate and then push back. Ah, so you can't get the blade twice a week. So you have to wait seven weeks to get this weapon. So this was literally pointless for me to do. Except for this. No, Sprout, give me. 99 need. Anyone rolls a 100, I'm going to kill myself. Come on, give me that thing. I rolled a 99. No one else is getting that. angry bat Quickly, use it. What I get? Use it. Use it. Oh, I can't use it. Angry guy, funny boy, funny boy, cat girl, <laughs> cat girl. <laughs> Yes!
song wraps up here. I guess that's gonna be the end of my streaming for tonight. I'm pooped, I'm tired, I'm sleepy. It's Christmas. Thanks for watching. And if you're watching this on YouTube, if this content doesn't suck, hit me up with uh, that like and the subscribe and maybe visit my Twitch. Thanks, bye.